Hi everyone, welcome to Revento Motors. Where do I really start with this one? 2017 M3 competition, 444 horsepower as standard. This one, a little different. Stage three, Tom Wrigley, 715 horsepower. Absolutely ridiculous. And it, it's everything about it, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it drives, it's unmatched. Honestly, unmatched. I mean, I'll let the car do a lot of the talking for itself. I'll point out a few bits as we go round. So obviously you've got the competition wheels and just behind it, as you'll see, we've got some big AP racing brakes. You need all that stopping power for the power that this thing's running. Factory carbon kit, quite a rare option very expensive as well and this obviously follows it all the way around beautiful headlights there so you've got the carbon mirrors carbon side skirts just there as well and some of the carbon does actually follow up onto the inside paint wise it is a Lamborghini color Grigio Telesto but it is BMW individual factory paint it hasn't been repainted it's not a wrap or anything like that Get the line of the bonnet there You can see from the back, you've got the nice wide arches there. Ridiculously wide. This car is running on Olin's performance coilovers. Rather than the standard adaptive suspension, you can see just how it sits. Absolutely fantastic. Very comfortable ride. Also handles extremely well. Come around the back, you've got the carbon boot spoiler there. Let's see if we can pick up some of the carbon. There we are. And obviously carbon diffuser down the back as well. See if I can get a good angle to back here. Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Obviously AP racing brakes on the back as well. Oh, that's stopping power. Take a look at the back seats. Really nice there. Heated in the rear as well. If you're coming up to winter, any passengers you may have in the back, you can keep them nice and toasty. Obviously you've got the three seats in the front. We'll take a look at those in a second. It does have Harman Kardon system. So you get that in the rear as well. So we'll take a look in the front here in the cockpit. Harman Kardon up there. Obviously you've got all your wing mirror controls, power fold obviously, auto lights. You've got your memory electric seats. They are heated as well in the front. And there's obviously the beautiful M Sport seats and three seats there. Lovely. Alcantara steering wheel with the carbon on the inside as well. And obviously the blue trim to finish up the top. M3 derivative on the clocks. Alcantara center armrest. All the carbon. Look at that. All the carbon. I'll take a seat in. We'll look at some of the options. What I'll do, I'll just get the ignition on. It does have heads up display. See if I can get the camera to focus on it when it pops up in a second. I'll just fire it up. There you go, a little bit flickery, but you get the idea. It does have heads up display there. 29,029 miles. So obviously, you've all got all your driving modes here. Now, there is a gauge in the middle, boost gauge, but it controls everything. It shows you temperatures, it can show you 0 to 60 times, everything like that. Got your nav up the top, obviously all controlled down here via the iDrive system. So if you go into menu, we've got all the stuff. You've got your media and your radio, your communication stuff, hooking up your phone, and then obviously the nav, all the vehicle settings, uh, got all your sports driver systems, your driver profiles, everything like that. Dual zone climate control, obviously heat seats in the front, as I said. Everything there, separate temperatures. Obviously, DCT transmission, got some driving modes there, um, and then obviously everything here. If we just flick it up into reverse, I've got a reversing camera, and obviously the passenger mirror pans down as well. Put your carbon along the dash. Absolutely beautiful. Flappy paddles, if you fancy some manual shifting. 
turn it back off, we'll jump round towards the front of the car. Obviously, as I said, it's on review stage three, pure turbos upgrade, 715 horsepower. If you did want to find out anything more about it, you've got any questions, you want to come take a look. Obviously, you know where we are, full, full spec on the website, along with more photos, see the car in all its glory. But apart from that, give us a call if you need to know anything. More than happy to help. Cheers, guys.